Good morning, everybody. I appreciate you all being here. It's a super awesome day here in the city of Lynchburg, and this is a fantastic turnout, uh, something that we have not done uh, in the past, and so we're real fortunate to have this opportunity. I'm your fire chief, Greg Wormser, and it is my uh, humble honor to be your fire chief, and I appreciate uh, what you all do every day. A couple of quick points uh, to recognize some folks. We have a couple council members that are here with us today. Council member Helgson is here. Uh, council member Perro is here. I also want to recognize Deputy City Manager uh, Reed Wodica, uh, Director of Community Planning and Development Kent White. Uh, our friends from the Police Department are here. Um, in addition, I want to thank um, the folks that have helped make today possible, uh, Deputy Chief Jonathan Wright and Deputy Chief uh, Robert Lipscomb. Additionally, some other folks that need to be recognized are the folks that built this truck. Uh, so we have folks here uh, from Atlantic, which is the Pierce, uh, local Pierce dealer. Uh, this is a Pierce fire truck. Um, and we're real excited about the fact that they're here as part of this uh, ceremony as well, along with our Fleet Services Director, Chuck Kramer, uh, who's also instrumental in making sure that we get the apparatus that we need so that we can provide a great service every day. Um, again, this is something that uh, is a little bit of new to us, but it is a tradition in the fire service. It's called a wet down ceremony. Um, and so in a few minutes, uh, after a few other, uh, few other words and a blessing from the chaplain, we'll uh, wet down the fire truck and any of the kids who want to join and wet down the fire truck, we certainly welcome them as well. Lastly, I want to thank all the retirees that are here and I can't count them all or name them all, but I see retirees here that retired a year ago and retirees that retired probably 20 years ago. And I think that's super fantastic and I appreciate uh, them being here from all ranks from all stations, and that's super exciting. So thank you all uh, for being here. So a couple quick points about this fire truck. Um, it's being replaced uh, as part of our normal replacement schedule. There's nothing wrong with the old fire truck other than it's just old. Um, it has been around the world uh, it, four and a half times. So it's got more than 115,884 miles on it. So it's been around the world a ton. It's got uh, well over 11,000 hours worth of road time, so the engine's been running for 11,000 hours. Uh, additionally, it's responded in its uh, 12 and a half to 13 year lifespan to more than 15,000 calls for service. And so it is certainly a workhorse here in the city of Lynchburg at one of the busiest fire stations, um, and it is busy every day. So without further ado, I'll introduce Wayne Lanham, one of our chaplains for the fire department, who's gonna bless the fire truck and its staff, and then we'll wet it down and push it in. Let us pray. Oh God, as we gather here today, and as we dedicate this engine to service, it will provide better protection to our community. I also ask that you will protect the ones that provide the service to the community. Thank you for their caring and dedication to help others. We ask all these things in your name, amen. So the wet down ceremony dates back to the late 1800s when fire trucks uh, back then were not obviously motorized, they were horse drawn and the firefighters actually pushed the apparatus back into the station when it got back to the station. It was hard to get the horses to go in reverse. Uh, they also didn't have a backup alarm, um, so you never knew you might get run over. So in the interest of safety, uh, they did what they could to uh, push the apparatus back in. Additionally, uh, the wet down service was a way to uh, wash off the fire truck when it first arrived to the station. So uh, when a fire truck was first built, it rode on the dirt roads to get here. It was dirty when it arrived at the fire station. And so the fire trucks wet the fire truck down. Uh, the, the old fire truck wet the new fire truck down uh, prior to it being pushed into the station for the first time. It's also sort of a giving back or giving to the new fire truck. So the, new, the old fire truck is giving water and giving the rest of its equipment uh, what has not been taken off to the new fire truck. So, without further ado, and we'll probably need some help, um, we're going to wet it down and then we'll push it into the fire station. All right, you ready? Action slow. 